Welcome to Buffalo, New York, and UB Stadium, home of the Buffalo Bulls, where the fans know that no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. Today, two teams set to square off in a max slugfest. As we'll see, the Western Michigan Broncos taking on the winners of six straight, the Buffalo Bulls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Running back goes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Stewart. He's moving out of the pocket. Nice move there. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. These guys aren't shooting anything. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense now. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll find those extra yards. And the Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Got his man on the outside. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. They might have the defense's head spinning a little bit now. Hit them with a big run, now they hit them with a big pass. Man, it's so hard to defend both. You know that. Which coverage do I want to put? Do I want to put more people in the box to stop the run? When you've got this kind of balance on offense, the defense can't be right. Got enough for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Motion from the offense. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Tackled after picking up the first down. You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there on the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Okay, right. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Slap. Now from inside the red zone. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. This pass rush is serious, man. When you watch them on film, they do a nice job in the back end, taking away all the throws downfield. He's trying to get to his check down, but that pressure gets to him, and the hit forced the incomplete. On third and long, he has to throw for it. No fear from this freshman quarterback as he picks up the first down himself. I'll tell you what, after that big gainer on third down, you might think about your quarterback running it again down here. It's hard to throw down close inside the 10-yard line. You've got to have some designed QB runs or give him a run pass option on the perimeter. See if he can punch it in after that big game. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. They love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Lasso! Lasso! Wide out in motion. Barrels ahead. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. 
Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Got the quick completion. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for now, first and 10 from the 40. To the air, it's Stewart. They've got the screen set up. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Extending the play. Grab near the sticks. It's McMillan. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. I love when QBs break the pocket and still look to attack. Because as soon as you break the pocket, I'm thinking, oh, man, he's going to take off and run, and I might come up. But those big plays can be made down the field. Nice job by the quarterback keeping his eyes down the field. Can't get him to the ground. They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the run, too, and he's got a first down. The Bulls are threatening on first and goal. 29 Philly. He'll set up to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. Finds his target down the middle. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back deep and that close to an interception. The pressure ramps up on third and goal. Pressure coming. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Running back searching for a hole. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Eight yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Dropping back, it's Stewart. Throwing right. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. You've got a third and manageable backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. They're trying to get to it. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Third and short. Wants to throw on first down. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to... Okay, break. Jack Rabbit. Starting this third quarter on the ground. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got his man downfield. At midfield, he's got room. Off he goes. He's at the 10. And he 
as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Reels it in on the left side. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo! Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, the, the, that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets him up to the 24. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. To the air, it's Stewart. He'll try to do it himself. Oh, what a move! Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39 to pick up a 15. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. What a job to lay out and make the catch. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Looking for a productive play on first down. From the gun. He uncorks a laser deep down the middle. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Safe completion on the screen. And they knocked him down, but he got past the line of the game. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far in third down. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Now on second down after the incompletion. It doesn't matter who it is. Receivers, and in this case, a tight end. You get open. You sometimes start to look at that green space in front of you. You just take your eye off the football, lose your concentration a little bit, and miss that opportunity for possibly a big play. Jukes his way for more. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter, and Buffalo is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. To the ground, he's got it again. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. This drive has already drained more than three minutes off the clock, and now they've got it on second down. On the run, it's Stewart. He's got an open man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And the Bulls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Bulls. They extend this fourth quarter lead, and now they are staring at a seven-game winning streak. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. 
They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. It's a draw. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Moving out of the pocket. Looking left. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Okay, ready? Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Trying play action. Quickly complete. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And this is a perfect situation. This is a situation, if you asked me to be in before the game, the coaches would have been in heaven. I got the football. I got the lead on their side of the field. Nice game on first down. Same exact script. Do it again. Run the football. Run the clock. Let that thing tick down. And if we add points, we add points. Quarterback on the keeper. He's all the way down to the three. Any electric run has him set up. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They'll run it on third and goal. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds... The handoff as they run the counterplay here. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. The timeout stops the clock with 10 seconds to play. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.